Jürgen, first of all, I have to ask, given that we're getting towards the end of January, what chance is there that you may spring a surprise and still add to your first team squad before that transfer deadline? What's your favourite answer? <laughs> My favourite answer would be yes, we, there's every chance that we might make a, a surprise sign. Why? Ah, it has keeping. It ah, yeah. No, no, I saw a few days ago. I saw this uh, this uh, show on. Oh, I'm not sure that I can say the channel. Eh? Um, only about transfers. And after two minutes, I, 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 I lost it. I thought, eh? which club, which player? Unbelievable. So, and um, if you want, I can say yes, and then you can put Liverpool on the screen. Um, but it's not really likely. But it's life, eh? <laughs> Always possible, maybe. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't even know what I said, actually. So, yeah. I'm going to take it as a note. Yeah, you're good, yeah. yeah. Uh, when you look at your squad, obviously, after the other night against Southampton, Daniel Sturridge's performance was highlighted, and statistics show that since 13 14, his average top speed in the Premier League game has fallen. Have the injuries taken their toll on Daniel? Have they taken away the player that he, he once was? Or do you see him getting back to those levels that he had in 13 14? I don't know exactly about the level of 13 14, actually, because I was not here. Um, but that's not too important. Um, look, it's your, it's your job to find, obviously, things we can talk about. Eh? So um, I thought after the, especially after, uh, after the Southampton game, it was a from the physical side, a really good game of Daniel Sturridge, for example. Uh, he was really involved from the first until the last second. There was not a big difference between the first half and the second half, all that stuff. Uh, usually, and it's not about speed or anything, Daniel Sturridge scores twice uh, in this game. So that's with the chances he had, but he's a human being and so he missed the chances, that's all. Um, and of course, m longer injuries, more injuries can have this the effect that that you lose not a little, not the speed immediately, but of course that the, the still that one hundred percent trust in your body for for sprinting. Ask a sprinter. That's high intense. That means everything. And if you that's if you got a few injuries after doing this, then maybe it takes a little bit of time. But that's not it's not lost forever. No, but it's only it's only in this um, since I don't know since when they measure exactly now in this season. Well, again, a few injuries last season since I mean, it was always a few injuries coming back after injury, playing a little bit, then have another. That was the, that was the story. So that's not a real problem in this moment. But um, Daniel is in best age for a football player. And um, so if he can stay fit, everything will be fine. Is it a case of that getting confidence in his body? In of course, that's for all of us. That's for all of us, always the same. If you are as a not football player more ill than other people, and you don't think uh, nothing can happen, and you go 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 out in a shirt or something, yeah, and you have everything, scarf and hat and and whatever. So that's it. our experience have influence on us. That's how it is. So, but it's not a real thing. I'm fine. I'm completely fine, and that's not nothing I I think about in this moment. We spoke after Swansea about defensive lapses. After Southampton, we spoke about. Creating chances, but not <laughs> having them converted. Yeah. When things aren't going for you like that, what can you do differently? Do you do anything differently in terms of your preparation? Between these games, we cannot do a lot because we've got, now it's um, we played <laughs> on Wednesday, right? So I played tomorrow. So yesterday was um, um, recovery. Today is kind of secondary recovery, and tomorrow we play. Um, that's that's how it is. So that's not a lot of things to do in training, um, and we don't have to do. It's uh, most of the things in, in in football when you have quality, what we still have. Um, then um, it's about um, getting the focus back on on different things. And so in in, in defense, I think the, the Swansea game was for me, and I said it after the game. It was disappointing because we we we, we should not concede goals like we conceded. And, um, I, I don't. Uh, said a few times, I don't expect perfection, but of course, concentration in, in situations like this. In these situations, I couldn't see it as much as I wanted, but that's gone already against Southampton. Was, how you, it was a similar game, Surprise, not, that, not surprisingly, but it's, it's, it's uh, I think Southampton really plays a completely different style against us, <laughs> to have a special Liverpool style uh, created meanwhile. And um, so it was similar to the Swansea game with 
they had counterattacks. Not all of them were, were um, when they had a counterattack um, because of bad defending or something. So we defended them last time, but of course Loris had one or two, three, I don't know, two, three saves, really good saves. Um, and that means they could finish. They couldn't score because of um, we could make a, a goalkeeper save. So um, it's it's not about defending. It's about reacting in the, in, 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 in a specific situation. It's about keeping your nerves in this situation because you have to play all the time. And I know it's still the funny German talks about the wind, but the wind was an issue in this game for the football playing side, even when I should not mention it. Yeah, um, but it's, it was an issue. You saw the ball when the first half, when the ball it was a flat ball. First time in my life I saw a flat ball stopping on a football pitch because of wind. But it happened. So, and that's for a football playing side, obviously, it makes it a lot easier. And staying then concentrated, not getting frustrated. And we did well. Um, we created the chances, and we all know, with a little bit of luck, we, we, we score already. I don't know what we have to do to change the, 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 the decisions around fouls or not fouls or handballs in, in a box. Um, that's part of the game. So, if there's a handball, it would be nice if we could hear a whistle. Uh, because um, and then we, we would have won one. Do we talk again and about the same thing? So it's really the difference is in the detail. What we have to do, we have to stay concentrated. We have to stay, and for me, it's no problem. We have to, to of course, to stay positive, to stay optimistic. It's absolutely no problem because I see always the progress. I I speak about the um, the mistakes too, even in public, uh, um, and and then you have a, another story to write. But um, I, I'm really I'm really fine. Um, with the situation, it's um, I don't like the results, but I, I see that we're really fighting for, uh, still fighting for each point, for each little victory, for each big success, all that stuff. So that's that's what we are doing, and it's a, the, the job we have to do. And um, so I'm I'm absolutely more than okay, and looking forward to the next opportunity tomorrow. Wolves. Uh, look, now that's uh, difficult. The, the answer, uh, the, the the question is simple, but the, uh, the answer is difficult because, um, again, I don't speak to my friends. I speak to you, and you may go with everything. I read a big story about how could be the confidence exactly the same after these results and after winning ten games. That would be really um, strange. So of course it it it, it changed. Of course, it's uh, it has influence, and that's again, we are. Um, all what we do, we do in public, and if we suffer a little bit, it looks like we suffer a lot, and all that stuff. But it's not like this. That's why I say it's um, it's um, it's a little bit like it's like building a house. If you want, you start building, and you're full of enthusiasm, and you think, oh, great! And in a, in a half a year, in one year, I will live in this house, a wonderful surrounding. And then uh, you start in summer, weather is good, everything works well, and then and you are, the November is coming, and you're still not finished, and now it's difficult. Uh, and um, and in this moment, when you stop building, then it makes not too much sense. You have to wait, maybe sometimes, well, raining stops and all that stuff, but at the end, you will live in a house when you stay on it. And that's what we, how I understand it. So, and maybe it's, <laughs> oh, we are again about the wind, or uh, the weather changed a little bit, um, but um, we are still building, and um, we take all these things what happened, and it's not that serious, it's not that big problem, um, but sometimes a few little problems are enough. And um, but we have the next chance um, tomorrow. We have another chance on Tuesday, another one on Saturday. So that's that's nice, and that's good, and. Um, so, yeah, how is that? I'm looking forward to it. Is it a huge opportunity then to turn things around, like getting through to the next stage of the FA Cup, a, a chance to beat Chelsea at Anfield? Is this a good opportunity? Of course. Have? Look, I mean, we, can, we can play it through if you want. We lose both games, we sit here together, and then, oh, bad mood. Yeah, but when we win both games, then nobody can even remember that we lost the semi final in, in the Capital One Cup. That's how the world is. But I. We have to work with all these performances yeah, and to, to, to really improve, to, to, to make really progress. And that's, that's what we are doing. But of course, these two games, but not only these two games. Yeah, so Hull yesterday then against Man United, yeah, obviously it will be not 
a holiday journey to, to go to Hull and um, that's a, a, again hard work and it's a, such a decisive moment in the, in the season and um, that's good, that's good. Of course, can we talk? He's a Dortmund legend. Pardon? Pardon? Yeah, yeah. Nice, very good character. I don't, I don't think that we met often enough that I can say a lot about his character because I should not. But um, what I, um, as I know him, is a very, very nice um, um, man, and especially an absolutely Dortmund legend. He won the Champions League with um, with Dortmund. Even when Michael Zorg always said we won the Champions League with ten men, and Michael Zorg was not even involved, but Paul Lambert was on the pitch, so I'm not sure exactly what he meant with this. But um, no, he um, was always welcome at Dortmund. Was for a long time, I think. He watched, made kind of, a, um, so he watched training as part. Of, um, in what, how do you say it? In, um, when he had no job. He came over too. Yeah. yeah. So watching a little bit, we, we, we spoke a little bit. I, it's too long ago, but I'm pretty sure we made a license together um, in Germany. So he made a license in Germany, yeah, a Fußballlehrer. And um, so we know each other well. And so I followed always a little bit when he was at Aston Villa. Now, I didn't see too much of Wolverhampton. Now, meanwhile, I saw the last three games. Uh, but before this, I didn't see too much. But um, very nice um, guy. And um, yeah, really happy that, I, that we can. Um, meet together uh, to, tomorrow, and um, yeah. But even when he's very nice, I would like to send him home with empty hands. Yeah. So um, I think you also watched then Wolves last three games, and they went to Stoke, and they beat Stoke in the FA Cup as well. What kind of test do you think they will? Yeah, if you want, the last two games were again a very good, a very good test for this because um, Wolves are a pretty direct team. Uh, long ball play that makes sense. Target players in up front, um, and then counter pressing. And it's not only about what Wolves is doing. I think I think our style of playing forced the other team in a deep position. Um, yeah, so it will be again um, uh, working a lot. It means a lot of work to do for us and. Um, and um, not a lot of spaces, um, but um, we are used to it, and uh, we, we already did it really well. But it's it's I should be clear we play at Anfield, so um, uh, I don't hope that they are too dominant. So I think we will be dominant, and then we have to find the spaces between their players. More or less problems, I don't know, but we're not, yeah, it's not fine. It's not um, uh, finally clear who we can who we can line up tomorrow because um, it was uh, a few. We had a few knocks after the game and have to wait a little bit, but um, we'll have enough and um, very good team for tomorrow. So we will not make ten changes or something, um, uh, but um, yeah, a few changes we have to we have to make. And um, but a real injury problem. Yeah, Adam Lalana got a cut. Maybe you saw it. So, I'm not sure that we should now try if the stitches are really um, good enough or whatever, um, but not more. We have to see what how Klein is. It would be great for us if he could play. We rested him now in the last game and um, hopefully he can be part tomorrow, but we have to see. Oh. So no, you have to ask because he is happy when we don't speak about them. So maybe we forget one. You're missing a player. Yeah, nothing, nothing new about um, Marco Kovic. Nothing about Ingsi. So we all, that's now we already a long term. No, we should be uh, quite a good squad. Slightly more. Oh, that's a jump. Um, yeah, he's still he has still contract. So it's, it's it's all. Why should I say now? No, no chance for Lazar Markovic. So if he plays at Hull, um, if he plays very good against us, then I. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
when, okay, I say, when he plays very well against us, then there's no future at Liverpool. Eh? <laughs> but if he makes all the other games really good, then yeah, why not? It's, it's all about he's still a young boy. So, and uh, we all know he, he struggled because of a few injuries in the wrong moment. If he can stay fit and can help Hull, then we have it for us, it's easier to look. Um, then what is what he was doing at at, um, yeah, at Portugal? You know, that's all, of course. And yeah, just to clarify, Alan can't play against us. Ah, <laughs> it's, uh, really? Yes. In Germany, when you are alone, you can play. It's uh, it's it's always like this, or it needs to be a part of the contract. Well, yes, he has a future. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm. So that's what I said. Look. I understand it's 100%. It's part of the business. We always speak about the problems we have and we put the finger in the wound, whatever. And then a few weeks ago, we spoke about our goalkeepers. And a lot of people thought uh, last year we were not happy with, our, with one goalkeeper. This year, we are not happy with two goalkeepers. So we've we made it even worse. Now, I think the, the, the smallest issue we have in this problem is the goalkeeper. Oh, how nice is this? Um, but um, they can, unfortunately, not win to win, win the games alone. But was well, never in doubt about quality. But it's about timing and things like this. And Simon is doing really well. So another very important thing. So it's, I'm 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 fine with the goalkeeper situation, and hopefully, I can say the same on Sunday.